I'm Paul Mulcahy. I'm a point guard at Rutgers University. This is my Scarlet Knight tail. Bayonne, New Jersey, three miles long, one mile wide. Really blue collar, hardworking city, a uh, really diverse place. Uh, my whole family's grown up there. They've been in the same, same house basically for like 60 years or something like that. My dad was raised there. All my aunts, aunts and uncles were raised there. I grew up there, all my best friends are from there. So it means a ton to me and shaped who I am. Well, I mean, I think, you know, the town is so like family oriented and you know so many people and it's where you're born and raised, right? Where like people are, yeah. you can lean on somebody for help. And um, I think that's really important to him growing up here, right? I'm a Brooklyn guy. So Brooklyn, Bayonne, you know, kind of similar attributes, you know, tough area, tough city, mentally tough kids. So I think that transition um, for him was easy. Um, and it was easy for me as well, because I knew that a kid from that area would really buy into what Coach Cena was selling, and um, it was a great you know, thing to say. There's six of us, six children, um, and we started early. So Paul started early in sports, and then he started to, I think, enjoy basketball more. You know, the trials and tribulations, oh, he's too competitive, he, he's this and that, and he had a little bit of a temper. Um, there, there's no such thing as too competitive. Winning in the Mulcahy house is, it's important. It should be important. That's game! As a kid, uh, I was pretty, pretty emotional. Uh, I've always been like a really big competitor. I played all sports. Uh, I always wanted to win at everything. Uh, when things didn't go my way, I didn't handle it the best at a young age, but I've gotten a little bit better, not a ton, but, um, yeah, I just love sports growing up. I have a super athletic family. All my siblings played, and um, I used to compete against my older sister a lot. Uh, we've got some some funny stories about playing basketball one-on-one -on -one and stuff like that. So I've got an older sister, Nyla, who went to Syracuse. She's done so much for me. She went to Gill with me, uh, made a lot of sacrifices, and drove me places. Then it's me. Then. Teague is going into a sophomore year at Hartford. He's a pitcher, really good pitcher. Um, I think he's gonna have a big year. Then Cadence is going to be a senior at Bayonne High School. Um, she's a really hard worker. She's been working like two or three jobs for like the last two or three years. Dorsett is gonna be a freshman at Gill. Um, is way better than I was at his age. Just like really raw, talented. Yeah, he's like almost 6'5 now, which is kind of scary. Um, but he's gonna be really good. And then Braxton's like the ultimate competitor. Like he's the baby, but he, you know, we play with him outside every day. He's, I think he's pursuing football. So um, he's gonna be really good at that. Paul Eugene, um is the best. He's the best big brother. He has the biggest heart. He's so kind and generous and um, he just sets a good example. Like even whenever he's with kids or around kids, you can just see that come out. Like he wants to help. He wants to show. He wants to explain. Um, even like, like with basketball, if he sees something with his brothers, right? During the pandemic was perfect. He was home. So he would be out front and he would be like, all right, boys, let's do these drills. And he would teach them different things and spend that time to help them improve on their skills. And then it was just time together with one another. What's a good life lesson that, that your older brother Paul has taught you? Um, stay the course. It's like, you just, like if you work on something every day for like like 30 days, then you're, uh, you're gonna get better at it because you keep practicing every day. It was an opportunity that came across um, in like seventh and eighth grade. I started playing AAU for Mergencina. Um, got involved out there and a lot of kids from Hudson County kind of go to the same two or three high schools, um, Bayonne, Hudson Catholic, St. Peter's Prep, along those lines to play sports. Um, and I was given an opportunity to do something different and it was one of the hardest decisions, but one of the most like biggest blessings that I could have could have gotten. 
it was very, very difficult. Uh, like I said, my mom made so many sacrifices. Uh, we got up at, we had to leave the house by five, get to Newark Penn Station by 5.30, um, hop on the, the bus at like 5.45, and then you get to get to Gill at 8.15. It was difficult, but there was a lot of like great people out there that I'm still very close with, and um, I'm like super grateful that I ended up going there. Nyla, Paul, I get up maybe like around 5.30 or so, we'll make up like crazy little workouts, and then we'd play at the end. Um, and he'll tell you too. I never like backed him down, like I wanted him to play defense. So we worked on that. Right around seventh grade, he started to whoop me, and then, <laughs> and then, uh, he, then he went out to Gil St. Bernard um, and started with Mergen Cena, who was great, great opportunity. Um, and that's a sacrifice to get on that bus for two hours. It was definitely long days, like from time getting up, you know, you're exhausted, you're up and at them, and then, you know, you're commuting to Newark. Then when you get to Newark, you're on a bus for like an hour and a half, basically, until you get to school. So I just feel like that takes a toll on you, but it was discipline. Yeah, it was a discipline. I and mean, everything's a discipline in sports, right? And that's, I thought it was a good discipline because it taught him, you know, that it's not gonna be easy every day. And that was one of the things that I think helped him grow as a, as a, as a young man. You know, traveling from, you know, Bayonne to Gil St. Bernard's every day was a two and a half hour track, coming here and going back. Um, so I think that really helped him in a lot of ways. He, he, he grinded it out. And that's how he is as a basketball player. He, started, he grinds it out early and then all of a sudden he pops out on the scene and, you know, he, he does some really good things. We're extremely blessed. We had so much help from our family. By the grace of God, he had that opportunity. It is a commute. And, you, and it's a sacrifice because, you know, then you can't be with this child. You missed this one's game. Uh, but he managed. Uh, and I think he evolved as the years went on. He got a little bit better in school. But he missed out on all, like, the personal training, the nutrition. This kid's eating whatever he can on the bus. And I think he realized that. And that, I think that helped add fuel to his fire. He plays hard. Um, and I think that's what people see. He's like, I tell, he, I tell, he's like a polarizing dude. Like, you either like him or you don't like him, but it doesn't matter. He wants to win. I always knew in my heart, this is where I wanted to win. Like, and really, really win. And, I mean, we haven't done it yet, but we're we're gonna we're going to. Um, but I always say the reason I came to Rutgers was the people um, within the program, within the community. Well, Coach Pike will have the same kind of mentality about players that they, he wants to recruit. Uh, I think he he saw like the leadership qualities that Paulie had, um, and obviously, um, I think he knew that it would translate at, at that next level. And and Coach really saw it. I mean, he watched him enough. And he saw the good and the bad, but he also saw Paulie find a way to get through things. And the biggest thing Coach knew was that he, he really wanted to win. And if you, and I'm not saying obviously that Paulie went to Rutgers and that's why, but there's a culture that happens, right? You bring a kid in that's, you know, doing the extra and, and really cares every possession. And the players around him are like, oh, this guy is going to make me look bad. And today, maybe I want to have a day off. Paulie doesn't have days off. He's going to stay on it, you know. Every, every practice, every game, and I always think that's a great thing to have. Paul said he made the choice that was, he wanted to go there. And he, obviously, like other kids, they had other offers. So I'm proud that he kind of took, uh, was it the road less travel, he said, because a lot of people weren't doing that. A lot of kids weren't doing that at that time. I wanted to take at least a visit. He, he didn't want to just do, he wanted, uh, he was going to Rutgers, so we made visits. We didn't, we didn't go anywhere. Um, yeah, I'm proud. I'm proud of the choice that he made and that he stuck with it. Um, being from Bayonne and being from Jersey, and Rutgers basketball was, but now where it is, it's, it's a big leap, yeah. If Rutgers, if everything about Rutgers was in another state, I'd still go to Rutgers. Um, I'm just fortunate enough to be in the state 
and you know have my family and, and a lot of people su supporting me. The people sold me off rip. Coach Pichels, I think the best coach in the country, 100%. Um, our staff is incredible. Uh, we've got great people top to bottom. Um, and I think it really shows in the little things. Uh, and I'm excited to really, really win here.